Hi, and welcome to this video on how to armor up your villagers using this little device. Now, if you've played Minecraft at all for a while, you know that villagers aren't very durable. And maybe you even wish that you could put armor on your villagers to keep them alive a little longer. But a little known fact is that you can. And if you've never seen it, that's because the armor is invisible. I'm not kidding. You can put invisible armor on your villagers in vanilla Minecraft. Let me show you how it's done. Now I built this little device that makes our lives a lot easier when trying to accomplish this. All I need to do is put down a cart, put a villager in front of it, and hit this button. Now the villager rode to the other end and hit that cactus and you saw nothing else happen. The cart disappeared and we have a villager there. But let me show you something. If I take and I put a villager out here and I inconsiderately shoot him with an arrow, takes one, two, three to kill him. And that's it. However, our more durable villager takes one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now watch this one. Nine. Oh, maybe this one. Ten. There we go. Did you see all the armor spill off of him? That was the armor that this machine put on. Now if we look up in these chests, we can see there is one slot missing where at one time I had filled these chests completely. We'll throw that one back in there. So what's happening here is as that villager gets into the minecart and the minecart goes through these dispensers, these dispensers automatically put armor onto the villager. Continues down to the cactus, the cactus breaks the minecart, the minecart drops into a hopper and into this chest along with a few of his pieces of armor when we killed him. And that's all there is to it. That was legitimately an armored villager. Now it'd be really cool if you could see that, but unfortunately that's not the case. So let me show you how to build this. It doesn't take a lot of effort. These are all the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need a powered rail, three normal rails, one detector rail, now three white concrete or any block of your choice, a button of some type, one block of sand, one cactus, four dispensers, five hoppers, five chests, and ten redstone. And we'll talk about that player head in just a moment. But let's build this first. So let's first lay down our rails here. So we'll grab that and all of that. And we'll start with our powered rail. Put a regular rail next to it. And then we'll put our detector rail. Now this is the one that tells when the minecart is over the top of it. And we'll put two more rails down here. Now we need to plant our cactus. And of course cactuses need to go on sand. So we'll do that. And put our cactus right at the end there. And on the other end, we need to put a block with a button. So we'll grab those, put our block, and put our button. Now you notice if we hit the button, the powered rail lights up and that's what sends the minecart on its way. Now at the end here, we wanna make sure that we grab the cart so it doesn't just sit there. So we're gonna dig this out underneath and we are going to get a hopper. I'm gonna grab all five right away. Might as well grab the dispensers while we're here and our chests. And what the heck, we'll grab our redstone too. So I'm gonna put the chest here and the hopper back here. Now I'm gonna crouch or shift or sneak, whatever you wanna call it, and point at the chest so that the hopper goes into there. And now we're gonna have to lay our piece of rail back on top there. Okay, so that's all set to go. Now we need to do this layout here with our dispensers. So we take our dispensers 
and we stack them on each side of that detector rail. Just like that. And then what we need to do is put hoppers that will feed the items into these dispensers. So we'll put one to the upper, one to the lower, and same thing, we'll mirror it on this side. Now remember to shift and click one to the upper, one to the lower. And then we're gonna put the chests on top of there so that we can have a good supply of armor as we're moving forward. Now, anytime you're placing redstone type items on top of uh, other redstone type items, often you have to hold down the shift key, crouch, sneak, whatever platform you're playing on. I get that comment so many times. I can't place the hopper here. I can't do this. Hold shift, crouch, sneak, whatever, and it will attach. So let's put her up here, boink, just like that. All right, so that is all set to go. Now we need to get the redstone signal from that up to these dispensers. And that's really simple. We just need to break out some blocks underneath. Just like that. All right, and add a couple of blocks. So we'll put a block here and a block back here. Now we take our redstone dust and we connect it all up. Now this is one of the easiest redstone dust jobs I've ever seen. Underneath the dispenser, up here, up here, up here, and then on top. Same thing on this side. Up here, up here, down here, underneath, and connect it up. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna pick up the redstone signal diagonally from that activator rail, transmit it up to here. This block being next to this one will trigger that dispenser. This one will trigger that dispenser. And with the exception of the glass, that's pretty much done. So let's grab our glass and we'll just cover this up, keep our villager in there. And that's all the more we need to keep him from running away. Uh, let's see here. Made this a little harder on myself than I had to. There we go. There. And that'll keep our villager from escaping. So let's test it out. Put a mine card here. And we will put a villager in here. Send the cart. And now that should be an armored villager. Now we can check by looking at our chests. Oh, we didn't fill these up. That's right. So he will not be an armored villager. Watch this. Should take three hits. One, two, three. That's all it took. <laughs> you have to remember to put armor in your dispensers. So we'll do that on that one. We'll do that on that one. We're gonna need a chest plate for over on this one. We'll put boots in that one, and we'll need a chest plate for that one. Let's go grab a chest plate. Um, yeah, close enough. There we go. And we will throw the chest plate in this one. So we should see, well, that didn't help. Does our chest plate need to go in the other one? Yes. Oh, we'll put the chest plate there. So now that should be the chest plate. That should be the boots. Correct. Don't forget to fill these up. Your villager is going to have a very bad day if you forget. All right, let's try this again. Get him into his cart. Now he should be armored up. Let's make sure. If we look in here, yep, no more armor, which means it's got to be on him. Come here, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. And this should be the killing shot right here. 10, and there he goes. And there you have it. Now, the only downside of this is that you cannot tell when a particular villager is armored or not. So one thing you could do, and this is where I said I'd mention this player head, is instead of putting a helmet on them, put a player head on them. And let me show you what happens. If you put a player head instead of a helmet, you will be able to see the player head. See it? There it is. Hey, look at me, buddy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he is. With his player head. Now, he is not protected. He's not armored like he normally would be, but at least you'll know which ones have armor on if you armor up the rest of him. So, that's all there, to, there is to it. It's pretty simple stuff. And it's a great opportunity to make your villagers a little more durable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share. And if you didn't like this video, please keep it to yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.